Hi everyone and welcome to another video about the Steam Deck. This time I wanted to see how it performs when docked um, on a 1080p screen. For this I chose to use the game Death Stranding because Death Stranding has a lot of different upscaling techniques. FSR 1, FSR 2 and even the new Intel XESS um, which is based on AI upscaling. So this is really interesting and we will see how they perform uh, in comparison and I think just let's go um, and take a look at it. So first things first, I only have a 1080p capture card, so we are only going to take a look at 1080p in this video. And also this capture card seems to be limited to 30fps, so don't rely on the performance you see in the video feed, but please rely on the FPS counters I will show you in the videos. Okay, with all of this out of the way, let's take a look at the first scenario. Here we have the game running at 720p native, simply upscaled by bilinear upscaling, so basically what your TV will do um, if the resolution is not matching your TV screen, and simply upscaling to the 1080p resolution here, which uh, in this case you would see the game looks a little bit soft already. So when we now bring FSR 1 in the mix in the balance set in here, you can already see that the image at least looks a little bit sharper, it's still definitely not looking as native 1080p, but um, I think the, for the same amount of frames you get here, you definitely get already a better result than just simple bilinear upscaling. So if we now bring FSR 2 in the mix, you can already see that the image looks much higher resolution than FSR 1 or of course the bilinear upscaling. However, this is the balance mode and you can also see that we are dropping uh, to around 40 FPS, which is of course a disadvantage at this point, but in my opinion, at least here standing still, the image quality is much higher and definitely worth the reduction in performance in this case. And now we have XCSS and uh, to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed, the image looks relatively soft, maybe there could be some additional sharpening which is enabled in FSR 2, but however if you have FSR 2 as a benchmark and especially since XCSS performing worse than FSR 2 on the Steam Deck at least, um, I'm not really sure if I would recommend it, at least um, in this particular comparison here I would definitely go with FSR 2. So now let's take a look at the best upscaling so far which was FSR 2 balance versus the native 1080p rendering. First of all of course we have 40 versus about 34 fps with native rendering which is great and also i think the anti-aliasing actually looks a little bit better with fsr2 it looks maybe a little bit softer but it's less shimmery than the 1080p native so in my opinion it's a pretty nice thing keep in mind of course we're looking here at still images um, so i could line it up better uh, in direct comparison of course if you're moving and um, changing camera view and so on you may suffer from a little bit of artifacts especially with this FSR 2 and XCSS upscaling, but yeah, I still think it's a great um, technology, especially for Steam Deck and Steam Deck in dock mode, as we were trying to achieve here. And I think with FSR 2, you could actually use the Steam Deck dock, the, the 1080p screen, and still get a pretty decent um, resolution and image quality, and all of this uh, usually at around 30 FPS, even if a heavy demanding game like Death Stranding is. So yeah, to summarize then all of this video, I think FSR 2 is probably the most interesting technology as of now for the Steam Deck. XCSS so far doesn't perform very well and doesn't look that great. Maybe this is subject to change of course, who knows, um, but at least for Death Stranding I would definitely go with FSR 2 um, on the Steam Deck, especially if I want to uh, plan to using it docked um, as uh, shown in this video. Um, but yeah, let me know about your thoughts about this upscaling stuff. Uh, do you use it in, on your Steam Deck or do you have any thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments below and may see you in some of the next videos. Bye for now.